Every capitalist is always trying to either make more money or survive competitively by saving on his labor costs. One capitalist does it by substituting machines for working people, automating, getting a computer to do what he used to have 50 people do, etc., etc. Another capitalist does it by trying to get cheaper workers in place of more expensive ones, hiring women, if they're less expensive, to do the job that they used to pay men more for, hiring immigrants rather than native folks, moving to another part of the world where wages are much lower. We, we all, all know that. So capitalists are always trying to save on labor costs because they can make a better profit if they do that. But here comes the contradiction. If all capitalists are reducing the number of workers they pay or reducing the pay they give to their workers, what will result is that the working people have less and less money. And if they have less and less money, they can't buy what the capitalists are producing to sell. The, the capitalists, therefore, are destroying themselves, but they have no choice. They have to save on the labor outlay, and then that comes back and bites them in the rear end because there's no demand. If you've been so successful becoming rich as a capitalist, you've killed yourself. These kinds of contradictions for Marx are the beginning of the end of a system. It papers it over. For example, when people couldn't buy in the 1970s, the capitalist system kept going anyway. How did it do that? How did it keep going when it, the people didn't have enough money from their wages to buy? The solution was credit. We loaded the world up House credit, that's your mortgage. Car payment credit, nobody buys a car except by paying out. Credit cards, which didn't exist before the 1970s for anything but traveling businessmen and only a small number of them. And then when that was not enough, we loaded up for the first time in American history an entire generation of students who can't get a degree without loading up with tens of thousands of dollars of debt. We kept the system going. People could buy stuff even though their wages didn't pay for it by borrowing. And in 2008, the predictable happened. It turned out your fix only lasts for a while. You really have to ask in a way that many of us as Marxists didn't, haven't done for most of our lives. The problems of capitalism now are so severe, so systemic, so global, that we're beginning to wonder whether this system is going to find a way out. The Marxists are not the only ones wondering whether this system is coming to an end. The people on the other side of the political fence are very worried, too. Yeah, you have billionaires writing op-eds. The Absolutely. pitchforks are coming for the plutocrats because exactly. they know, they know what's coming.